Krista bought me something a few weeks ago, and um, a little longer than that, actually, and uh, dug it out, and I've been meaning to bring it, and I forgot to bring it again today. Um, but it, it's an illustration that I've used in the past, and what she got for me was a uh, package of crackers and a tin of sardines. And uh, the reason for that is because, as, as I have said, you know, when Jesus fed the thousands uh, and with the loaves and the fishes, and there are lots of pictures and so forth about this, it always shows these big, plump-looking fish, like a nice, you know, trout or something, and these nice, big cakes of... That's what, not what it was, because if you read the story, what it was is it was a young boy's lunch that he was willing to give up. And uh, in one of the accounts, it says it was with barley cakes. And barley was the, was the um, grain that was used for making bread by the poor. So basically, it wasn't loaves and fishes. Jesus fed the thousands with crackers and sardines, literally. And, but when Jesus takes it and blesses it and breaks it, and distributes it, can feed thousands. And I feel like that every Sunday morning, that all I have to give you are crackers and sardines, literally. But God takes it, and I am amazed in talking with so many of you afterwards, and, and you recounting to me, you know, you said this, and I'm going, did I say that? And it, God has taken that and used it in your life. It isn't about my capability to rightly divide the word, although I'm accountable to that. It's about your willingness to be open to what the Spirit of God wants to plant in you this morning. Parable about the sower, it wasn't a parable about the sower. It wasn't a parable about the seed. Those things were assumed. It was a parable about soil. And it was a parable about the fact that that same seed landing on different soils will result in different outcomes. If the soil is hard and quickly things can come and grab attention here and there, well, it's kind of like that which is thrown on the wayside and people trample on it and birds of the air come and snatch it away. Or if the heart is just quickly goes this way or that way. Oh, oh, yeah, this sounds great, this sounds great. But then as soon as it gets a little tough, going, oh, maybe this is better. If that's the kind of heart that we have, then we are like that very shallow soil that the seed will spring up quickly, but as soon as the sun comes and beats down on it, that plant will wither. And the worst one is the one that grows up amongst weeds and thorns. And it grows up, but it never comes to fruitfulness because its life is choked by the weeds. And Jesus, in, in describing what this parable means, he describes this one with more information than all the, all the rest because he describes the thorns or the weeds that choke out the life as the cares and riches of this life. And that's a long-term thing. You know, getting trampled on the bird, taking the seed away, man, that happens quickly. That seed that germinated but then never gets beyond just a little bud because it, it, it can't take root, that happens pretty quickly. The plant getting choked out, that happens over time. And that's what we have to look out for in our lives. We have to look out for the weeds that are growing up around us. But the good news is the soil of the heart that is tilled and willing to receive that seed says it brought forth a bountiful harvest. And that's what the Word of God does in our lives when our hearts are prepared to receive it. Oh, you can find a lot of pastors who can speak a lot better than I can. Absolutely. They have better jokes. They look better. They're cooler. They'll tweet you, whatever that is. 
If you've ever looked up our Facebook page, you know what I'm talking about. We're those ones that look like we're in the, you know, uh, witness protection program. There's just a there's just a gray shadow of us there. All those things are great. It's it's not it's not me. It's not Krista. We come up here every Sunday and we give you who we are, but it isn't about who we are. As long as we are faithful to give you this. It's about, where's your heart right now? Are you here because this is what, this is what you do on Sunday? Or are you here because, well, I, I, sometimes I feel better when I go. Sometimes I feel worse. Oh, it's food day. It's communion day. I'm going for that, man. I love that chicken. Whatever the reason is, right now, settle your heart before the Lord. Till the soil of your heart a little bit to receive what God has for you. And He will do His mighty work in you. 